Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I'm Tiffany. This is our small town life. We are a homeschooling, homesteading, small town living, southern family sharing our life with you here on YouTube. We'd love to have you subscribe and join us. Today, I've got some boxes that we're going to open together. Several of y'all had asked if I would share our curriculum choices for this next school year. And I'm happy to do that. I've done this the last couple of years. I'll link those videos down in the description box in case you want to check those out and see what we've used in the past. We are doing something a little bit different this year. We're going to open up those boxes to get together today. They literally just came in the mail. So we are going to open them up and see them together for the first time. So what are we doing different this year? In the past, I have gotten maybe my math from one place and history from another and English from another. And while that has worked out, and that's the beauty of homeschooling is being able to find things that work for your children and for your family, uh, I wanted to try something different this year and get all of our curriculum from one place. And the reason why I want to do that is I think that that continuity and I think that having everything kind of streamlined and looking the same and the way things are laid out being the same and going from one lesson to another, one subject to another, everything just kind of having that same feel, I think that's what's going to work out really well for us. I think it is. You never know until you try. That's what we're going to try this year. Now, I am going to be schooling a fifth grader and a second grader this coming up year. I've kind of gotten past putting a grade level on my children. It took a while to do that coming from public school, but it's been really um, freeing <laughs> to come to that realization that we don't have to lay things out the same as public school. We don't have to start the school year the same time. We don't have to start our day the same time. You know, if my children are more advanced in an area, well, we can cater to that. And if we need to slow down and work on something a little bit more, we can do that. And you'll see that reflected in the curriculum that we have. Uh, also, my oldest, my upcoming seventh grader, she is going to be going back to more of a traditional school setting this year. I'm not going to say I'm 100% comfortable with that, but I am at peace with the decision and it being the right decision. She has thrived in that setting before, and so we're going to let her try it again. Um, always praying about seeking out what's best for our family and for our children, and if it ever feels like that's not what's best, then we'll bring her back home. But I think for right now, we're going to let her go back to a public school this coming up year. We'll just have to see how it goes. So we're opening up curriculum for my fifth grader and my second grader. Here it is, and I've got some kiddos that are excited to look at all of this with me. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot, and... I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm usually a very minimal homeschool mom and we're gonna make this work for us. If that means not doing everything every single day, that's fine. But having it here to be able to use y'all, I just, I'm feeling really good about this. I'm feeling really good about it. Something else that's gonna be a little bit different is my fifth grader, now all of this is from BJU Press. My fifth grader is going to be doing a distance learning format. Um, that is something that BJU, uh, Bob Jones University is what BJU stands for. They offer a distance learning, they offer a DVD and parent led. Now I talked to both of the boys about it and my older son was really interested in that online learning format. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be online at a certain time or that it's a live class, there's just video instruction online, and obviously, Mama's gonna be here to help him whenever he needs it, but I think that, that will really give him some independence and allow him to really take control of his school day, and I think that's gonna work well for him. My youngest, Huddy, he had no interest in that, and so you'll see teacher's manuals for those because I'll just be sitting down, and all of his courses will be Mama-led, <laughs> parent-led. I don't know if these are separated, by grades, by subjects. I don't know what's it. There's three boxes and I don't know what's in each box. So we're just going to kind of start going through it and show it all to you. It looks like a lot of what I'm seeing in this first box is Huddy's. And let me go ahead and tell you now, I said he's a second grader. I went through and looked at each subject 
and what he's learned so far and where I think he'll be this coming up year, his the, the areas that he's really strong in and the areas that we need some more work in. And so I ordered him the level one curriculum, except for math, it is level two. And I feel like based on what he's used in the past, that's gonna be right on track where he would be. He's still my second grader, if, that, if that's what we wanna call it, if we wanna put a grade title on it. But this work just seemed to be what was gonna be most beneficial for him. And in math, he is, y'all, he soaks up math, loves math, and catches on to math really quick. So I did go ahead and instead of doing the level one math, we did the level two. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna lay out all of Huddy's stuff on the table by subject and we'll take a peek at it that way. Are you excited, Hud? You trying to get in these boxes and see what's in there? So here's the spread of all of Huddy's things. And like I said, it looks like a lot. But this is all of his things. It's all of the teacher's guides. It's any test, activities, manipulatives. It's everything, and it's everything for math, English, and phonics, reading, science, history or heritage studies, as they call it, handwriting, and spelling. We will use some of these things daily, and then some of these things are set up to only be used a couple of times a week. Again, always making the curriculum work for us. So for math, we do have math level two, and this back here is his work text, and then there's some um, student manipulatives. Let me show these to you because these are pretty neat. All kinds of things that he will use with his lessons, and they're all on cardstock, really easy to take out. Excited about this and excited about how that's gonna work, just having all that on hand. Let's go ahead and do, I'm not going to flip through everything or show every page by any means. We don't have the time for that in this video, but if there's something you want to see more of, we can do that. But I will kind of flip through and let you see how it's looking. And these are also very easy to remove. And my kids are really excited about that because they don't like bound books that they can't lay open. So this spine right here is disconnected so you can easily remove the pages and we will have it set up while I give, where I give them all their pages every day and then we move those over to a folder when they're done with them. Now his work text has his work pages in them but there are also extra review pages so that if you need extra practice, there's extra practice. There's also tests, you can see how much they're learning and the test answer keys. The teacher books are all set up the same from what I can tell and I will open one of those up at the end and kind of show you what it looks like. But it's laid out where it shows you how to instruct. It's laid out where you can see their work pages. And so all of that is inside the teacher editions. We'll look at that in just a little bit after we kind of glance over everything. I'll show you how the teacher's books are laid out. Here is his reading. It's reading one, and this is his reading work text that has work in it for him. And these are his readers. There's six of them. A, B, C, D, E, F. Those are going to be his readers. And then this teacher edition is split up into two books. So for level one, phonics and English are together. Again, there's two teacher editions books. Then his work text. And like math, there are extra practice pages. I believe this is a CD, uh, yeah, a song CD that goes along with that. These are, what are these, visuals. And more visuals, I'm guessing. I have, in my research, learned a lot about these phonics characters, and I'm excited to see how these work out when it comes to actually learning and how much those are going to help him. I think that that's going to work really well. Science. So this is, and again, y'all, I haven't really had a chance to look at it all yet. We're just looking at it together. This is his science book. These are his science activities. Th 
the activities answer key, the teacher's book, and then assessments and assessment key. Now y'all, these are so beautiful. The colors and everything in these books I'm noticing are so beautiful. And I'll tell you, I have pretty high expectations because this curriculum is an investment. It is not cheap. And so maybe my has, my expectations are a little bit higher. So far though, it's looking like everything is really, really good quality. And I'm loving the colors. I actually looked at a few curriculums that were more black and white, straightforward, not a lot to them, not a lot of frill. And that's what I was gonna go with. And then I started realizing that that's what I like. <laughs> I like the black and white, I like the straightforward, I like the no frill, but my boys, I think, are going to learn better with this type of curriculum. And that's what it's about. Obviously, you want the teacher, the mom, the parent, whoever, to enjoy what you're teaching as well and to be able to flow with the curriculum easily. But what's most important to me is what's gonna work for my boys, what's gonna keep their interest. And right now, at this stage in life, I feel like this is gonna do that. Their social studies is called heritage studies, and for level one, it's family and community. Here is his book. His activity book. the teacher edition book and the activities answer key, the assessments and assessment answer key. Here's his spelling. That's the teacher edition book, his spelling book. And if I am recalling correctly, with level one, they start out the first little while only doing this phonics and English and then spelling comes in a little bit later. Then his last subject is handwriting. And from what I've seen on this, not looked at this book yet, let's look at it together. But from what I have seen, it starts to teach them a little bit of precursive. See how the, the letters are slanted just a little bit? Starting to teach them a little bit of precursive. and then the teacher's edition for the handwriting. Let's take a peek through one of the teacher edition books to show you how these are set up. Again, they're all gonna look somewhat the same. One of the reasons why I wanted to get everything from one place, stay the same across the board for subjects and for both boys and give that a try to just see if having that flow from one subject to the next is something that would work good for us. So let's take a peek inside of a teacher book. This is the math too. So we've got everything laid out for our chapters and the lessons. This talks to you about pretty much everything for the subject, the materials, the manipulatives, the tests, reviews, all of those things. It also talks about some other, other things that you might wanna have on hand, some other uh, manipulatives and alternatives for those if you don't have them. And there's a sample lesson. It shows you how, how your lessons are laid out. So this is what your pages look like within the books. And it's giving you an explanation of what each area is. Showing you where the, the uh, pages are that your kids are going to be doing. The work text and the review pages for each lesson. Talking about objectives and practice stuff. Introduction to the lessons. It's talking to you about how to teach the lessons. And then it's showing you that you actually have pictures of their work text pages with the answers on them so that you can do that with them. This right here is going to be very beneficial, especially while we're learning how to use this. Some review features and teaching tips. Just some good information here at the beginning. 
scope and sequence. So this lays out each, this is like a lesson plan for you. It lays out each lesson, the pages for the lessons, the work text pages, the skill focus for that particular lesson, the practice and review information, Bible truths that go along with it, um, and then just continuing that over here on this page. And it has that for each chapter, and each chapter is a different color, so it's easy to tell where one stops and where one starts. We'll just take a quick look at lesson one, just like I was showing you on those earlier pages. This is all the information for you. It talks about... Uh, it actually gives you some instruction on what to say when you're teaching and how to introduce the lesson and go through the lesson, teach the lesson. And anything in blue is something that you would um, almost directly say to your student or you would directly say. And then their answers or what they might would say back to you is in red. It seems to be very clear on how to guide you through a lesson and... There's the work pages with the answers. Easton has all of his laid out for you. He was so excited about this. That makes me really excited about it. His is the online version, so you're not going to see any uh, teacher books. You're not going to see uh, some of the extra activities and things because all of that will be done online. Now, I was thinking that there would be like lesson plans with it that shows kind of, you know, on this day, we're doing this video with these lessons. This is what you're doing in your books. But I also know that I need to get into the portal, the hub, the homeschool hub, and set some things up. And so, st still trying to figure it out, y'all. Still trying to figure it out. But I was thinking that there would be some actual paper plans that I had done everything right to get some actual paper plans with this. I'll have to reach out to him. And see, but otherwise, this is all of his things. Here's his English, his book, and all of his is level five. And they alternate grammar and writing. So, You'll notice that one chapter will be grammar, the next writing, the next grammar, the next writing. And I like that. There's his student handouts. Let's go to math because that's another one of those things that will be a, a daily subject for him. That's his handouts, y'all. <laughs> math handouts. Math book. And I kind of talked to him about some of the things that were going to be in this. And he was excited about what he's going to be learning. And then this is his manipulatives. Again, I was like, oh my goodness, that's a lot. But this is actually for grades 4 through 6. But any manipulatives that he might need will be in here. Here is his heritage study. And it is an American history study going from Columbus all the way to I think 2015 so that's his history his history activity manual and student handouts for reading we have some books he was happy about these. He's already had those out, flipping through them and getting excited about them. We've got his Reading 5 book. His Activities. And student handouts. Y'all look how beautiful this is. I just can't get over it. It's beautiful. Here's his science. His book. Oh, and he was he was saying, Mama, I really want to learn more about animals. I want to learn. I was like, baby, you're gonna get to learn about animals. So, so he's excited about that. This is the activity manual. And 
and student handouts. Here's his spelling, spelling book, and handouts, and then his handwriting, and it is cursive. So that's his handwriting book and some student handouts. Like I said before, I know that this appears to be a lot of stuff and that's not what I have done. Go back and watch those other videos. I've not necessarily always been, let's do a lot of stuff, but it's something I want to try. It's something that we're going to make work for us, whether that means using all of this or not. Uh, whether it means doing tests or not doing tests. We're going to take this and we're going to make it work for our family. And y'all, I'm so excited about it. And the kids are excited about it. Next school year can't get here fast. We're still finishing up this school year. We still got a couple of weeks left in this school year. And then we're going to enjoy a little break for a month or so during the summer before we get started on this. And that will give me time to really kind of look through it all and get a feel for it all and learn about it all set some things up, figure out our ways that we're going to organize everything and get that ready. And I'm excited. There's no one perfect homeschool curriculum. There's no one curriculum that's going to work for everybody. You have to figure it out. You have to figure out what works best for your family. Uh, we're on year four and things are kind of start like I'm starting like, okay, this should work for us, but I don't think this will. This will probably work for us, but I don't think this will. But we're still figuring it out. We're always learning. We're always figuring out what works for our family. And as we grow, as my kids grow, as things change, we're constantly having to adapt to that. So let me be an encouragement to you today. Maybe you're a first time homeschool parent, or maybe you've been doing this for a while and you're like, I still don't have this figured out. None of us have it figured out. We're all still learning. It's always a learning process. And that's part of the beauty of it. Did I mention that this little guy will be running around too while we're schooling? Always fun, never boring around here. All right, y'all, that's what we are planning to use for our upcoming school year. Just getting it out, taking a look at it, and sharing that with you. Obviously, I'll be sharing more about it as the year goes on, as, as we get into our school year, as we start organizing it, and then actually using it and letting you know how it's working for us. But that's just a, a little sneak peek of it. It's been another fun day around here, huh? Another fun day around our house. We got new baby chicks in today. I don't know when, when y'all will see this video in relation to when you see the vlog of us getting our baby chicks, but they came in the mail today, and so that has been tons of fun. So between new baby chicks, new homeschool curriculum, it's been a fun day. If you haven't subscribed already, we sure would love to have you join us and join our family here on our YouTube channel. There's mobile home living content homemaking, homesteading, homeschooling content, and we just like to have a good time. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that red subscribe button. Join us before you leave today. Stick around, be a part of the crew. We'll see you in the next one. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you later. Bye, y'all.